Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 9 to the power of t and this equals 9. So we are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation and we are going to make use of two different methods. So this is negative 9 and I can easily have this as negative 9 equals negative 1 times 9. So this will be negative 1 times 9 raised to the power of t and this equals 9. Now what we are going to do again will be to make use of this identity if you have a times b raised to the power of c this equals a power c times b power c. So I'm going to distribute this exponent right here to each of the terms here. I have negative 1 power t times 9 power t and this equals 9. Now from here there is negative 1 here so we are going to replace this with something. Now let's consider this Euler's identity e power i times pi plus 1 equals 0. Now making 1 here the subject of this equation I have 1 equals negative e power i times pi or I can also move this one over here that means I'm going to have e power i times pi equals negative 1. So we are going to make use of this because this is negative 1 and negative 1 is the same thing as e power i times pi. So we have this e power i times pi instead of this negative 1 and this is raised to the power of t times 9 power t and this equals 9. So right now we can apply this identity here at the exponent if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. Applying this identity here we have e to the power of pi times pi t times 9 power t equals 9. So what we can do next will be to apply natural log. I have the natural log of e to the power of i times pi t times 9 power t equals natural log of 9. So if you have the natural log of a times b, this equals the natural log of a plus natural log of b. So applying this right here, that means we are going to have the natural log of e to the power of i times pi t then we have plus natural log of 9 to the power of t equals natural log of 9. So from here what we are going to do would be to apply this logarithm identity. If I have natural log of a to the power of b this equals b times natural log of a. I apply this identity right here and here. So this i by t will come behind this and this t here will come behind this. So what I'm going to have will be i times by t times natural log of e plus t times natural log of 9 equals natural log of 9. So right now, the natural log of e is 1. So we have i times pi t plus t times natural log of 9 equals natural log of 9. Here is t. Here is t. I can factor that out. Take out the t times this divided by t. I have i times pi plus this divided by t. I have natural log of 9. And this equals natural log of 9. So right now, I'm going to isolate this t because I'm solving for t. 
by dividing by this by i times pi plus natural log of my I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of my so what happens here is that this eliminate this I'm, I'm going to have t equals natural log of 9 divided by i times pi plus natural log of 9. So that is it using this particular method of solving. So let's consider making use of log to the base of 10. I have negative 9 to the power of t and this equals 9. So what I do again will be to express this negative 9 as product of negative 1 times 9. So I'm going to have negative 1 times 9 raised to the property equals 9. So at this point, what I'm going to do will be to consider this complex law. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals imaginary number i. So if I take the squares, I take the squares of this. So what happens here is that this eliminates this. So we are going to have negative 1 equals i to the power of 2. So meaning that this negative one here it is same as i power 2. So I'm going to have i to the power of 2 times 9 raised to the power of t equals 9. Now what I'm going to do again will be to apply the log. I take log of i power 2 times 9 raised to the power of t equals log 9. So definitely, we are going to apply this logarithm property of log a to the power of b equals b times log a. So the t comes behind the log and this obviously gives us t times log of i power 2 times 9 and this equals log 9. Now let's consider this. This is in the form of log a times b and this equals log a plus log b. So applying this right here we are going to have 60 times log, let me make this up, bracket, bracket, this is my a, this is my b, so this is t times log a, which is log i power 2, plus log b, which is log 9. This equals log 9. So right here, what I can do is to isolate this t, and uh, for us to achieve that, I divide this by log i power 2 plus log 9. And I divide this by log i power 2 plus log 9. So this, cancel this. I'm simply going to have c equals log 9 divided by log i power 2 plus log 9. And don't forget the fact that log i power 2 equals 2 times log i. So replacing that here, I'm simply going to have t equals log 9 divided by to log i plus log 9. 
So that is it. And here is it, the two solutions. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it.